Hi everyone, Yana is here and in this video I'm going to show you how to make these little tags which can be used as gift tags or main element for a card. So here I'm using a Hero Arts woodblock background stamp and I'm coloring it with um, watercolor distress markers from Ranger. I'm using several blues and one green marker. And I'm adding some water to the stamp to create a nice watercolor effect. So now I'm stamping this design onto watercolor paper. Uh, and I have I made a grid on the paper so that it would be easier for me to cut it apart later. So here's the first design. And now I'm using several different colors of markers to create a similar stamped image. So I'm using several pinks, one green, and three blue markers. So all of these markers are water-based markers. And once again I'm, use, I'm adding some water uh, to create the watercolor effect. And here I'm stamping this onto my watercolor paper. So now I'm adding some more water to soften the look and make it look even more watercolorish. So I'm blending the inks together and creating a nice watercolor background. So I have all my tags cut apart and I will be using the stamp from uh, my mind's eye to stem the sentiment on several of them. So this stamp, uh, this one is perfect just the way you are. And I'm using uh, ink, waterproof ink from Tsukineko. I chose this particular ink because I wasn't sure if I will be uh, doing any more watercoloring on the tags and I wanted to make sure that my ink would stay in place and won't run from the water. And here I'm using another, ink, uh, another stamp also from uh, my mind's eye. It says one of a kind and once again I'm stamping the sentiment on several tags. Finally, I'm using this little bird image from American Crafts. Uh, I believe this is from one of the Dear Lizzie, Dear Lizzie collections. I'm just not sure which one it is. And I think this um, black stamp, the stamped image in black creates a really nice contrast to this uh, watercolor background. I really like the way it looks. So here I'm using another stamp from my mind's eye and this little banner sentiment stamp and I'm using some Tsukineko inks, Memento Dewdrop inks, to create a little, to stamp little sentiments there. This is also some watercolor paper, it's a leftover paper from my tags. And I uh, tried to pick some um, coordinating ink colors. As you can see here I have pink, green and several blues. And my stamp is isn't straight. It's attached to wood block to my acrylic block at a, a bit at an angle. I wasn't uh, this was done by accident, but I really like the way it turned out. This banner it wasn't just straight. It was kind of like crooked a bit. Makes it just a bit more realistic. So here are all of my tags and my sentiments. As you can see here, I pa paired them together. And now I'm starting to do the die cutting. I'm using my Artisan Explorer machine from the Spellbinders and several new dies from the Media Mixage line from the Spellbinders. These are really uh, tiny dies, which I absolutely love. And I think they work just perfect for projects like this. So I'm not throwing away the die cut pieces, I'm keeping them as well as the negative parts. And here you can see me use another uh, die, a little house. 
And I think those are just the two designs that I used. The hearts, uh, a bigger and a small, a smaller one, and then this little house. So here I'm assembling the pieces together, deciding what where what goes where. And uh, now I'm using some um, cardstock from Basil Basics to create this tag shape to pair with my little um, watercolor paper tags. And all of these were cut by hand. So now I'm going to adhere the watercolor paper paper to my Basil Basics paper using some regular double-sided tape. And I wasn't very careful about it. I just applied double-sided tape to uh, any place on the tag. So now I'm using my corner chomper from We Are Memory Keepers and I'm rounding the two bottom corners on each tag. And finally, I'm cutting some felt, which goes behind the tag. So as you can see here, I'm not really measuring anything. I'm just eyeballing it and cutting it as is. I tried to do some, um, to draw some lines and use those to cut the, uh, the felt, but it didn't work for me. I found it to work much faster when I just uh, cut it this way. So I'm using several colors of felt pink, white, and um, kind of like yellow, greenish color. And this felt is from Dove Craft. So all of my uh, pieces are pre-cut, and now I will be assembling them together using these uh, eyelets from We Are Memory Keepers, these wide eyelets. And uh, eyelets, eyelets will be one of the points holding the tag and the felt together. So I'm just deciding which color of eyelets to use and I'm punching a hole here with my hole punch and I'm adding my eyelet and setting it in place. And as you can see here, it holds the tag and the felt together. And right now I'm just cutting off some excess felt. So here I'm doing that again. Punching a hole, adding an eyelet, and setting it in place. And this eyelet does hold the tag and the felt in the top part of my of my tag. And finally, I'm decorating uh, my tags using little bits and pieces of several of different embellishments. So here I'm using a foam square, foam dot to adhere the little banner. And right now I'm setting the brad. It's a uh, it's from a ter from Teresa Collins, and this uh, orange mat you see me use is from uh, Amy Tangerine's Yes Please line. It's from her. Um, stitch templates and I find uh, this mat works great for things like setting eyelet, uh, setting brads. And now I'm adding another brad from Recollections. The button is from Dove Craft and I'm attaching it using the clear uh, adhesive squares. And now fi finally I'm securing the bottom portion of the tag with uh, my stapler. There I've added a metallic pin from my mind's eye and I'm adding just a bit of twine from Doodlebug. And that finishes off the, car uh, the tag. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and please do excuse my English. This is my first video in English. Thank you so much.